You want to know how to write a sales page? Well, of course you do, because you're back for part five of my $50 million sales letter formula. I will break it down for you today. I'm John Benson, and this is Sales Copy Secrets. Welcome back, and this is part five. Five, we're halfway through after this. Wow, of my 10 part series on my $50 million sales letter blueprint. And this is perfect for you if you are a copywriter or if you are into copywriting tips, techniques, if you are a marketer looking to improve your online sales, this is for you. Let's dive into the training. And just like the weeks before, I will dive into the training by diving into CopyPro. And yes, CopyPro would definitely help you get the $50 million sales letter much faster. You could do the whole thing in under an hour and boom, it's underneath. See, see that link under there? Go, go click it if you want it, click it if you want it. Now I left this message up here just to let you know, in case you need our help setting this up for you, we do what's called a quick start setup for you. You can add that to your order. It's another $400 or so, but it's so worth it because we can direct all the copy that you want directed toward your niche or offer. And it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna clear this out of the way and say, remind me later. Give us a little bit more room here. So we left off with this headline. What's behind this success and how can you replicate it? Now that was following the subheadline or the talking about the uh, the tip I picked up along my way. And by the way, what I went in here is, a, and I started to center these just to make it look better because CopyPro puts everything out left of line. So I thought, hey, this will help you see the subheadlines as they come out. So I'm gonna center these from here on out. So last week we talked about the role model. That's where we left off. And my role model in this particular example was Dave Asprey, the CEO of Bulletproof Coffee and a good friend of mine. And we lead into this, okay? What is the success we lead into? Success leaves clues, and Dave left me some really valuable clues to follow. What's behind the success and how you can replicate it? So I'm talking about Dave's success with weight loss specifically. What was Dave doing that made him a role model of mine, okay? You hear stories of Dave, and you might be tempted to think to yourself, yeah, but those guys pop out of the womb with fantastic genes. So what am I doing here? I'm teasing them with what's behind the success and how can you replicate it, but what I'm doing first is I'm going through and I'm nuking false ideas, bad ideas, mistaken beliefs. We're gonna lay out some mistaken beliefs that your customer, in my case, a fat burner or a dieter would be my potential customer. They may believe these lies and these are the lies that are holding them back from success. So one of the lies that someone might believe is that you have to just be born skinny. And I'm saying that in a fancy way, pop out of the womb with fantastic genetics. You can lose weight easily. Well, that's not true at all. And then I break it. In reality, here's the truth. And then, have you ever said to yourself, now notice how I'm doing this here. I'm not just saying another statistic is this. Have you ever said to yourself, question. Now what's interesting about doing that is that you engage the viewer in the dialogue of the sales letter. You turn it from a one-way thing where you're projecting stuff, you're just speaking to somebody and speaking with somebody, to converting it into speaking with somebody into a dialogue. A dialogue I find is much more powerful. So. Have you, have you ever said this to yourself? Sure, inspiring, but I'd have to eat super strict all the time, passing up the desserts, etc. You know, I used to think the same thing in reality, and then I turn it around, the same thing. In reality, I use junk food all the time to help burn fat. So I'm nicking away at their rebuttals. Yeah, I don't like to do, I don't like to diet, diet food sucks. I don't wanna do cardio all day long. I wasn't born with great genetics. And I'm doing it in a conversational storytelling inquisitive way. And then finally I get to the third myth and I say another myth is doing hours of cardio. It's simply a myth and it's holding you back from a solution that actually works. After a long journey filled with trials and errors, I finally discovered what actually works. You might think, well, why are you repeating yourself here? It's redundant. Yes, it is redundant on purpose. Actually works, actually works. <laughs> Okay. Using a little bit of repetition. I mean, you don't want to use a ton of repetition, redundancy, I call it. It's just a form of NLP that allows you to kind of ingrain an idea into someone's head if you say it over and over again. Don't do it too often. Actually works, actually works. And this is the question I want you to really focus on. Is there a common trait among the truly successful? I might change this to the truly successful dieters or fat burners. So I said, I studied 577 of dieters. Now, I don't like the word dieters there, so I'm going to say of weight loss and I'll add weight loss to my criteria here. So now I just have another thing to add. So I studied 577 weight loss success stories, true winners. And I found that they have this in common. They all did what? 
they all strategically varied their carbohydrate intake. Now, it's not important that you know about what I'm talking about here from a weight loss or diet perspective, but you need to find the one thing that all the case studies and success stories that you've studied in all of the time that you've studied, whatever you're an expert or an enthusiast in, what do they share in common or most of them share in common? In my case, almost everyone, and I said they all, I could say they virtually all, if you want to be more specific, they varied their carbohydrate intake. They didn't eat the same amount of carbs every day. So this is the aha moment I'm wanting my customer or prospective customer to see here. They all did something the same. All these wild varying success stories, they all had one thing in common. So if you do that one thing, chances are great that you're going to succeed, okay? I noticed that the most successful dieters were doing this consistently day in and day out. At first it slipped by me, so I'm telling a little bit of a story here. Once I noticed this, within about 90 days, my entire outlook on fat burning changed. <laughs> so this was the aha moment for me. Ah, so that was it. They're all doing this. And that left me with one powerful truth. And notice how it just leads right into, this is all subheadlines that complete the story. After a long journey, I discovered what actually works. If you wish to truly succeed, you've got to leverage rotational refeeding. Notice how that is, you could read it like a sales letter. Again, the subheadlines become many sales letters. So check this out. Rotational refeeding is what we call a primary solution. That is the unique mechanism that makes my diet work. It's not the name of my diet. It's not the name of my book. It's the unique mechanism behind the book. And this is what CopyPro helps you design and create through video training and through just knowing it needs to be there. So now I'm bringing in this hook. When I finally shared the concept of rotational refeeding with a small group of my customers, the consensus was, hey, we started doing this, we burn far more fat. So what is it? And I describe it. Let me unpack it for you. I describe it even further using what? I want you to imagine as if it were a diet workout. So I'm using a metaphor. I'm using analogies. I'm using things that will help people get the picture without having to get so technical on them, right? So I go technical here, and then I go big picture, like think of it this way, allegory, metaphor, whatever you want to use here. Then I dive into a few quick tips for starting with rotational refeeding. How do I get started with this? What do I do first? Okay. So you want to give a little bit of data here. What do you do first? Obviously your data is not super complete because you're leading them into what they do second and third. And guess what? That's going to be buy your stuff. Okay. So my first tip says avoid the three primary thyroid killing foods. Now I could go into what those foods are right here. That's what copy pro is asking me to do, but I'm seeing if I have something that's even simpler, that's already done. I've already got all these solution tips entered. So I'm going to say this one right here, because I like this one better. Try cutting so starchy carbs out like potatoes, rice, and bread out of your diet for three days. Okay. That's it. That's the entirety of the tip. Okay. I don't have to go into a lot of detail this way. The other one I would have had to say here, what the three foods are. So I'm lazy. So I chose that one instead. Okay. Look at the second tip, eating only vegetables, fats, and proteins for seven days. This will help reset your body's metabolism. Okay. So I'm giving tips, but do you know how to do it? Do you know all about rotational refeeding? Not really. Okay. There's also another way of approaching fat burning that can work, but it's not as consistent as rotational refeeding, intermittent fasting. So I'm covering tips, but now look what I'm doing. I'm saying, and there's another idea, and I'm picking an idea that's huge in the market right now. I'm picking an idea that people really know about, intermittent fasting. Okay, what well, just so happens to be that I use a different version of it. I have a very specific way of doing this that radically increases weight loss and keeps you going. So I've opened a huge loop so what do you do next? And that's what we're going to cover next week. I open the huge loop. I want you to do the same thing. Follow these three tips. Again, first quick tip. Second, a little bit more detailed tip. Third, the tip that is based on something that's going around right now that you also leverage or that you don't believe in. You can say it that way. Like this is really hot. This is the fad right now. It doesn't work. And here's why it doesn't work. But here's something that does work. And then what do you do next? And speaking of what to do next, I have a tip for you. I want you to like, share, sub, and smash that bell for notifications so you can help this channel grow, so you can help me keep doing this. If you like this information, I'd love it if you participate in the channel growth, and I appreciate you for doing that. And as always, I am John Benson, and I'm here to help make you unignorable.